Another general has joined the Trump administration. I'm not talking about Chief of Staff Kelly. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has announced the appointment of General Mark S. Inch as the director of the Federal Bureau of Prisons. Now, Inch formerly served, formerly served as the individual responsible for developing and executing the Army's policing programs. We're going to dive into that in a minute, but first, let's take a closer look at the job he's going to be facing, mass incarceration in the United States. In the United States... The U.S. population, the U.S. makes up 5% of the world's population, but accounts for, look at this, 25% of the world's prisoners. There are currently 2.3 million Americans behind bars and another 5.6 million under some form of correctional supervision. Now, it's not evenly distributed. Uh, African Americans and Hispanics make up about 32% of the U.S. population, much more likely to be imprisoned than their white counterparts. Uh, they comprise 56% of all incarcerated people in the United States. Now, it's not just that. People with mental illness are one of the most likely demographics in the the country to become imprisoned. 15% of men and 30% of women booked into a jail suffer from a serious mental health condition. All of this imprisonment is costly. Estimates put the cost of our prison system at $80 billion a year. For comparison, the government spends about $71 billion a year on SNAP or food stamps. For more on this, I want to bring in Glenn Martin. He's the founder and president of Just uh, Leadership USA and Roland Martin, host and managing editor of News One Now. Guys, good to see you both. Thank you for being here. Uh, this, is a law, this is a law firm, Velshi Martin and Martin? Velshi Martin and Martin. <laughs> the two Martins on your screen are unrelated as far as I know. Uh, Glenn, let me start with you. I, I, the reason I wanted to make that point about the statistics is that uh, our problem in our U.S. prisons is not uh, law and order. We don't have a ton of prison breaks. There was one a couple days ago, they got all the, the folks back. Mental health is actually a massive problem in our prisons. Uh, the idea that people go to prison, go to jail, come out, can't get employed, and get, get, get back into jail. We've got way more people as a, as a proportion uh, of our population in jail than any other developed country. You know, President Trump during the campaign said to uh, black folks in America, what do you have to lose? Well, this is the answer to that question. What we have to lose is an entire generation of young, particularly young people of color, folks who have mental health issues, folks who have addiction issues to mass incarceration. If you look at the previous administration, we were making clear strides, bipartisan strides, right. to reduce our prison population. And that, those strides were in terms of dealing with sentencing, uh, not having disproportionate sentences in particular mm -hmm. for Getting rid of color. mandatory minimums, yep. uh, investing in uh, reentry programs. Yep. I mean, Congress for the last decade has invested in the Second Chance Act, which is the idea that when people are coming out of prison, if we want them to land safely and stay out of trouble, we need to help them. Right. Give them jobs, give them housing, education, and so on. All right, Brother Roland Martin, uh, this, this is actually part of a, uh, a larger uh, thing that the Trump administration is doing and the attorney general is doing, telling uh, police, uh, telling uh, attorneys general in states and law enforcement to come down harder, to find the, 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 the toughest sentence that you can find under law. It may be related to what President Trump said the other day in Suffolk County, talking about not being so nice to, uh, to, right. to suspects. There's a, a, a a law and order nest that has come back into our dialogue. Jeff Sessions is a relic uh, to a day that should be uh, buried in American history. Uh, all he thinks about is locking folks up. We know that has not been successful. And I would hope folks like Ralph Reed will bring along his evangelical white Christians to stand against Jeff Sessions. I will hope Grover Norquist, uh, Newt Gingrich, the Koch brothers, individuals who have talked about criminal justice reform will stand up to Jeff Sessions, will stand up to Donald Trump and say, this is not the pathway. Look, there are people who are black and who are Hispanic uh, who will say that uh, people who are heinous or who are very violent should be locked up. But in this country, we are imprisoning people because they can't pay their bail. Mm -hmm. We're imprisoning people because of low-level uh, crimes. It makes no sense whatsoever and Jeff Sessions is shameful for what he is doing in the Department of Justice. Uh, Glenn, we have another issue and that is the use of private prisons. Uh, as, a, as an economics guy, there is nothing with a more perverse incentive than than private prisons, right? Because the idea that if you run a prison and your profitability comes from there being more prisoners uh, is, is the opposite of what society wants. Society wants fewer prisoners, 
for-profit prisons want more prisoners. You know, we have a president who ran for office saying he was a business person. Well, if you're a business person, the inspector general put out a report just a year and a half ago showing clearly not only are we spending too much money for private prisons, but they don't work. Essentially, people don't get access to uh, uh, rehabilitation. We're spending too much money. They're too violent. The staff there are underpaid in pursuit of, of uh, profits. Everything about them don't work. And yet here we are doubling down on private prisons as a response but, to tr uh, Trump's tough on crime policies. But Ali, Ali, it gets worse than that because first and foremost, we saw the stock prices of these companies rise dramatically mm -hmm. after the election yep. of President Trump. But here's the other issue when it comes to these private prisons. We have been using prisons as an economic indicator, driving jobs. The, you, you talk about what is sadistic. You literally have had communities competing for prisons yeah. uh, because they're saying, hey, we need the jobs. Yeah. Well, here's the problem. You build a prison, you need more inmates because they say, well, if we don't have the inmates, we have to shut down. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, absolutely right. I'm going to leave you guys with uh, one uh, poll, a uh, Gallup poll comparing 2016 opinions to 2003. In 2003, 65% of Americans thought the Justice Department should be tougher on crime. In 2016, that has dropped to 45%. Glenn Martin, the founder and president of Just Leadership USA, and uh, possibly but not likely his brother, Roland Martin, host and managing <laughs> editor of the TV One uh, cable network. Thanks to both of you guys. We'll be right Thanks back. Thanks a lot. Thank you.